Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More. I'm back at the liquor store in Mini Mart, and we're going to check out a few problems we have here, a few surprises, and the apartment upstairs, which we've kind of figured out what to do on. So I bought this a couple of years ago. It came with the businesses. I've been running those businesses, and we've had some apartments upstairs rented out. We had some pretty rough tenants up there recently. Um, we'll show you what the apartment looks like now, what our plan is. We'll talk about the surprise we had, and we'll talk about some renovations and issues we might have in the store itself as well. Plus, we'll show you the sales at the end here. All right, so here's what the store looks like now. Um, got my money out of my gumball machine and little horse. Haven't done that for a while. I come to the store maybe once a month now. So we have a manager, she's doing a great job, pretty hands off, but once in a while we have some issues. And one of those issues is, I don't know if you can see right there, but there's screws all over the floor. And I guess, um, you know, we have a handyman who comes up there, works on some stuff once in a while. He had screwed that floor down because it was buckling. Well, it turns out there was a leak underneath the sink or the, the soda fountain machine. And that's why the floor was buckling. And it's been happening for a little while. So we're also going to go in the basement and see what it looks like down there um, to see how bad it all is. And then we have possibly a new plan to fix that and hopefully make the store look way better as well. Here's the back area. Always check back here to see how everything looks, how organized it is. Um, things look pretty good. And um, there is the basement. So we'll go down there in just a little bit. It is um, interesting down there for sure. Can't stand up all the way. This is a 100 plus year old bank building. Um, so it's neat. <laughs> Here's the liquor side of the business. And the liquor store, uh, Mini Mart, have been doing very good. Very good. Um, been really a great source of almost passive income now um, since we got all set up. We definitely spent a lot of time finding help, restocking, figuring out what to have and what not to have here. But once we got that figured out, it's been working pretty well. And I've kind of been thinking about trying to pick up another one. We'll see. And here's our back storage room. I always check back here too, just to see how everything looks. Um, we don't have a ton of room to buy in bulk, but at least we have some storage rooms. I've been in a lot of liquor stores lately that don't have any storage and literally have their storage and boxes in the customer area out front. And um, at least we don't have that. So um, our store has been very clean, looks really good. So that's great to see. One thing I did notice is that little four pack of beer has probably been there like two years. <laughs> Not sure why, but now it's kind of a how long can we keep it there contest. Um, all right, here's the basement. So we will see what is going on down here. It used to be called the Plains Market when I bought it. Now it's Main Street Market and Liquor. Um, we still have a lot of stuff down here. When I first bought this property, you might remember the air conditioning unit was down here in the basement and like vented outside with some weird ducting. We fixed that and put the AC where it's supposed to be. All right, so um, lots of water down here is the first thing I noticed, but that is not our issue. It turns out the, um, oh, hi buddy, toad down here. Uh, the air conditioning um, something or other broke and it's just not working correctly. So that's a furnace issue not related to the leak we have upstairs. So we have two different water issues. Not sure how long it's been going on. We need to kind of mention to some people, hey, go down in the basement and check it out every couple weeks at least, just to make sure everything looks okay. Um, down here on this area, this is where the leak is. So that drain right there is for the sink at the end of the counter. And obviously the basement doesn't go all the way to the front. There's just kind of a crawl space there, which makes it difficult because that means if we want to fix that floor, we can't come from the bottom because I think that subfloor might be rotten as well because it's been leaking for quite a while. And if we would have caught it sooner, it probably wouldn't be a big issue, but um, it's kind of a situation of fixing the, um, you know, symptom and not the cause. The floor was buckling. They screwed it down instead of figuring out, hey, why is this floor buckling? 
maybe we should, you know, look to see what's going on. Our plumber did go out there. He fixed the leak. No problem. It was actually fairly easy. So that's taken care of. But now we have this issue of part of the floor needs to be replaced. We have one box of that floor. We can't really find that floor again. So I think our next plan is going to be we're just going to redo that entire floor on the mini market side. We're going to pull it all up, move the shelves, and lay down new flooring, and close down the store for a day, maybe two. But we have the liquor sides, you know, since we have two different sides, we could still keep the liquor store side open and possibly even have, you know, people walking over there to grab items if people want them while we're working on that side. So it's probably not the end of the world. I don't think we have to close down all the way. We just have to close down a little bit to get that done. So um, we're still trying to co coordinate that, figure out when to do it, when the slowest day to do it is. Usually I think it's a Tuesday, but um, could be worse, could be better. So that's one issue we've got taken care of. Now for another issue, this is the apartment upstairs. So we had some tenants who were very messy. We came up here, cleaned it up, did a little bit of painting, and I was really trying to figure out if I should make this two apartments or not. It's big enough. It's like 15, 1600 square feet, has three bedrooms now, but we thought about making it a two and a one. You can get more rent that way. Uh, it's in a very small town, so it might even you know attract more tenants having smaller units is above a store. So I don't know if it's the best for kids or not, but um, anyway, we had our plumber out there looking at it and he said, well, we've got to take out pretty much the entire ceiling of the store, reroute a bunch of stuff. It would be a pretty big job to make that happen. So we decided against it, even though we might be shutting down the store now um, for a little bit, he would have to kind of do the whole store and we don't know exactly how long it would take. And we don't want to be closed down for an extended period of time. It might close the other side too, if we were to do all that work. So in the end, we decided just to keep it as a three bedroom, large, large apartment. And we have someone who might be interested in it already. Obviously we need to clean a little bit. It's still a little bit dirty, but that is the plan for this apartment. We're not going crazy. Um, thank you to those who sent me floor plans and different stuff. There were some really good ideas about how to lay this out and have two apartments because it was a little bit tricky um, making the bathrooms work and adding a kitchen and where it would all go and trying to keep the plumbing close to the other plumbing. Um, and we had some decent thoughts. It just was figured out it was just a little bit too much work and we've got a lot of other things going on too. So um, this is something that we didn't need to do. So we'll see if that person who wants to rent this apartment comes through and actually does that. If not, we'll put it up for rent. We'll have our people in my office show it, see if we can get it rented. Uh, it rented very quickly last time. A lot of people think small towns are you know, bad places to have rentals. In my experience, they are fantastic places to have rentals because there's so few rentals available usually that there's tons of demand and tons of people who are looking. So um, that's the plan there. We're also gonna have our cleaner um, clean the common staircase area because that was pretty dirty as well. Usually it's not too bad, but it was a little bit rough. And one big thing that really wrecked my plan and, and made it difficult to do two units was that furnace is right there in that closet too. And it's hard to avoid that, but there's another apartment right there. And then another apartment straight ahead right there. And we'll just keep it three units like it is now. And finally, um, we had another kind of interesting thing come up. And I'd love to hear your opinion on this, what you think while I was leaving. Um, Actually, when I got there, <laughs> but while I was leaving too, I did not know this was happening. And I would really like to know. That's the main thing. There's a portable coffee shop set up in my lot, and I did not know that was there. Could be good. Could be bad. I guess my manager told them not to serve food because we serve food. We do serve coffee in the store, but it's not like gourmet coffee. Uh, if people really want something fancy, they need to go elsewhere. So... Next time, just love to know that if that's happening. Uh, other exciting news, they're building a restaurant right there, a Mexican restaurant in the town. So another restaurant, and then also not so exciting news that may end up hurting the stores. 
they're probably going to build a dollar general right here so that could hurt the grocery side we'll see how all that goes but also small towns tend to be pretty loyal to local businesses as well so that's the happening that's what's going on i would love to know what you think of the coffee place if that cause it could bring in more business or it could take away business um they were only there for half of one day so it wasn't like an ongoing thing that happens all the time they're definitely bringing people there but again i just like to know about that stuff and maybe we could do some cross promotion or something to help both businesses out next time we'll see all right so here is a sales chart and this shows the kind of year over year weekly sales at the store so the green line was 2022 weekly sales i took it over in um january of 2022 and then we opened up again in february red is 2023 blue is 2024. so sales have been increasing and doing much better this year uh i know a lot of people say well that's because of inflation that's because your prices increased we actually have not increased our prices for quite some time um maybe on one product here or there where our supplier increases prices we do but we haven't had too much of that really the big increase in prices came in 2022 um, that's when inflation the brunt of inflation was that's when we saw our costs go up and that's also when i bought the store so it was a lot of work going through all the pricing and looking at our you know margins and what was going on and a lot of the stuff had tiny margins for the old owner we did have to raise prices on quite a few things i mean some things were actually costing the store more than we were selling them for <laughs> which is not how you want to run a business um so we did have to raise prices on a lot of things. But since then, since we got our pricing kind of originally to where we want it to be, which is pretty close to a 30% margin, maybe even a little bit less, we haven't had to raise prices very much. Um, so the, the sales increase, the increase in numbers is not due to prices going up, it's due to more products being sold. And we've seen that in our sales numbers and vendors who say we're you know doing much better than you know previous years, all of that. But one thing that's slightly concerning, as you can see, we had a really good start to the year, start to the summer, and then things kind of tailed off and drooped down quite a bit. And that did not happen both of the last two years. So looking at trends, it's kind of like, ooh, hopefully that's not something going on. Hopefully it's a fluke. But we've had a little bit of drama at the store in the town. There have been some different posts on, you know, in the local Facebook group and hopefully that's not deterring people from coming but um you know it, it might a little bit so this one thing is a retail business a store you want to be very neutral not trying <laughs> um you know create a lot of waves or, or or go one side or the other and um hopefully things keep going well we're still making money um having you know 23 or 24 thousand in sales a week um makes a couple thousand dollars a week with our, our numbers and paying staff and utilities and rent and all of that. And this does include paying rent to myself. So it's still doing well, but I also love to see the chart keep going up and improving things. So um, hopefully we can kind of get back up to where we were before and um, we'll see how all that goes. All right, so overall, we're gonna fix the floor. We're gonna rent the apartment. We're already fixed the plumbing leaks. Um, We'll see about the coffee thing. Curious to see what people think about that. The Mexican restaurant, I don't think will hurt us at all. In fact, it might help us a little bit because it might bring more people to the town because they're really, um, this will be kind of the closest Mexican restaurant um, in the area, you know, by far. Obviously, it's only a block away, but there's lots of, a little town north with no restaurants and a lot of rural area, rural um, farms, things like that in the area. And it probably will bring quite a few people in. On the counter to that, the dollar store probably will take some of our customers away who are maybe looking for real cheap things, clearance items, things like that. And we'll have to see what their pricing is on different things. That will be interesting to see how all of that works out. We'll still have liquor, um, the liquor side that you can't get, you know, at a dollar store. But again, it'll be interesting to see how all of this plays out. And those are the challenges and different things that come up operating a store in a business, you're always facing challenges, always have different things coming up, different policies, different regulations, different competition. So um, makes things fun and interesting, that's for sure. And um, we'll just have to see how all this 
happens and how it affects us as well. All right, thanks for watching. Love to hear what you think. We'll have more videos on laundromats, rentals, flips, all that coming up as well.